Hi, I'm Gina. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're going to love this video because the project today is just so much fun. It is super easy and they turn out adorable. So if you're an experienced crafter, you can breeze right through these and make a ton of them in a short amount of time. If you're new to crafting, it is something that you could easily accomplish because it's just so very simple. There aren't that many steps and they just turn out so cute. What are they? They're altered paper clips that you can use as bookmarks. And if you don't read books, <laughs> well like actual books with book pages anymore, then they make a great little piece of ephemera to include in your journals or junk journals. Now I've just got started and I could not stop making these and I just want to show a couple to you real quick before we get into making them and you can see there's a couple of variations they're all different sizes too I mean measuring is not important here <laughs> so that's always helpful in making any project a lot easier but you can see some of them I did round the corners and some I did not most of them I did round. I just happened to like that look a little better. But this is a great way to use up your paper scraps. You don't have to use paper scraps, but if you're like me and you have a bunch of paper scraps laying around, what a great way to use them up. This one I was super excited about because I used um, some of the paper, the tissue paper, that we decorated from a couple of videos ago. So I just used plain white cardstock for this and then decoupage both layers with some of the tissue paper that I had made. And I ended up just fussy cutting one of the stamped butterflies, cutting it in half and, and then laying that on top. But I was so excited. I thought that turned out great. So it doesn't have to be just paper. You know, you can get creative, you can stamp, you can you can do whatever. So don't worry if you don't have pretty paper, don't worry about it. I would use something heavier than plain computer paper, but if you have just plain cardstock, then you can definitely do that. Get your markers out. Um, you can doodle on them. I mean, it's just, it's endless. All right, well, let's get started so I can show you just how easy it is to make these. All right, let's start out with your paper. You're going to need two different pieces of paper. Again, they can be just plain white cardstock, or you could pick some of your pretty papers. I've got some of the pretty papers. I like those because if you just want to make it super quick, but you want it to turn out pretty without having to worry about decorating it, pretty paper is the way to go. But you're going to need to cut it into two sizes. My base pieces are the widest pieces, and they are one and three quarters inches. Now, the next piece is the piece you're going to lay on top, and it just needs to be smaller um, than, the, than the base piece. So, some of these, as you can see, I left very little edge because I really loved the image, and I wanted to make sure I got as much of that on there as I could. But on this one, I just love the vibrant colors and wanted more of that to show through. So as you can see, my edge is much bigger and wider than the edge I left on this one. Remember, no rules. You do whatever looks good to you or whatever works with the paper that you're using. Okay, so I've got my two pieces uh, selected. And now, what about the paper clip? I just use the very small paper clip. You can use a bigger one if you like. It is up to you. Um, but the little one worked fine holding the bookmark in place, so I just went with that. I'm going to put this cutting mat here because we will cut in just a minute. So the first thing you do is you take your base piece and you just fold it in half. You fold it in half and you crease. Now, this is pretty thick cardstock, so as you can see, it kind of broke the edge a little bit, yeah. which is fine. I don't, it's not going to be a problem because we will be gluing. Once this piece is folded in half, you fold your next piece in half. And again, 
I'm going to use the bone folder. There we go. Now we have our two pieces folded in half. We bring in our paper clip. And I get it started just like that. Now the top piece, I'm going to need to cut just a little bit so that the top part of my paper clip can come through because that's how um, I'm going to thread my fabric for the little tassel at the top. Okay, so once I've folded it, I've got my crease line and I'm going to take a little X-Acto knife and I'm just going to kind of aim for the center and just to make a little bit of a cut. Doesn't need to be super big, but I do want to try to make it centered as best I can. Okay, and as you can see, I can just push this paper clip right through to the top. Now it might take a little bit of finagling to move your paper clip to where it's even on both sides. So you just work with that just a little bit. You want to get it as pushed down as far as you can. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I almost forgot. I want to cut my edges. It's best to do that before we move on. So I've got my little corner rounder, and I like this one. It's Katamaru, Katamaru Pro. I like it because it has different sizes for your corners. It gives you options, which I really like. And I think I'm just going to do, I'll probably stick with the medium. So I'm going to punch these corners. All right, my corners are rounded and now we can proceed. <laughs> so I'm going to stick my paper clip back on. And I'm going to stick back on my top piece. Okay. Oh, I got pretty lucky. That's right about where I want it. Now, as you can see, I left a little bit sticking out. Now I need to choose a piece of uh, fabric to go on top to use for, um, you know, a little top piece. And it's also great to grab and use to pull it out as well. And let's see here. So just pull any laces you have or, you know, little, this is sari silk, you know, whatever you've got. Um, do I want to use that? I think I like the color of this a little bit better. It's kind of wide though. Let me, let me cut this down the middle. Now, now, once you've got your piece ready, what I did was I just kind of held it behind it and then I used something small and pokey. <laughs> I've just got this little, you know, pointy wooden dowel and, uh, and just kind of poke it through and pull. Okay. And you can get that the way you want it. All right. Now, when I first started, I was tying a knot. As you can see here, it's got a little knot tied, which is fine. That's great. But later I realized I don't really think I need to tie a knot because let me show you what I'm going to do. Once I get my fabric through, I'm going to push it all the way down. Okay, so now my paper clip is snug to that base piece of paper. All right, I've got that down. Okay, oops. Always check your back. For some reason, sometimes the paper can be a little skewed in the back, even though it looks straight in the front. <laughs> so. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, so now 
I've got it put together. I just now need to glue it. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. You could probably use a glue stick because it's paper on paper, but I wanted something a little stronger that would also help hold the paper clip in place. Okay, and I put glue all around the top, definitely around the paper clip, and then just around the top piece of paper. And then you just glue it down. You may need to hold it just for a moment. Really get it glued down. Do you need? Okay. Once that side's down, just do the same thing to the other side. And you're done. Super, super fast and easy. So you could certainly go ahead and decorate. This is a great opportunity to use some stickers as far as your embellishing goes. The X's and O's are kind of cute. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. X, O, X, O. Where tweezers come in really handy. Okay. This sticker's not super sticky, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to help it stay. All right, and there you go. You can leave it at that. Now you can go crazy and decorate as much as you want. Um, my thinking is if it's going to be in a book, especially if you're using it as a, a real bookmark in a, in a real book, you're going to want it to be flat. So, I've got this little dictionary handy, so. <laughs> if you're using it in, your, in a real book, you know, you don't want it to be uh, super bulky. You want it to be able to lay pretty flat so you don't mess up the pages of your book or anything. Um, so that's just kind of the way I'm thinking, but you can make it as elaborate as you want. And now that we have this little fabric here, it's great just to use that to pull it out because it does fit in there pretty snugly. Let's make one more. All right, so here's our base piece of paper and we fold it in half. Here's our top piece of paper, and we fold it in half. Now we round our corners. If you wanted to ink the edges, now is when you would do that as well. Corners rounded, edges inked. Now we'll cut a little slit in the top piece of paper. Now we add our paper clip on top of the base piece of paper. Now we slip the top of the paper clip through the slot we cut in the top piece of paper. And we adjust the paper on top with the paper clip to make the top piece of paper centered over the bottom piece of paper. Now we push a piece of fabric through the top part of the paper clip. Once we have that in place, we push our paper clip all the way down flush, as far down as we can go, so that it's flush with both pieces of paper. Now we glue the top piece to the bottom piece, making sure to add extra glue around the paper clip. Okay. 
and then we glue the top piece down. We flip it over and we repeat that same gluing process on the other side. Now your bookmark is completed and you can decorate as you wish or not decorate it at all. I know you didn't get to see all of the ones that I had previously made up close, especially front and back. So don't worry, I will be taking close-up pictures of each front and back to uh, include at the end of this video. But I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope you grab your scrap paper and glue and, and start making some of these because they are just so much fun. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me the thumbs up and please leave a comment. I can't tell you how important that is for a YouTuber to get comments. If you're not sure what to say, just say, hey, how cute, or hi, how are you doing, or I love your channel, or have a good day, or <laughs> anything. It really tells YouTube that you like the content and that way the video gets shown more as an option for people to click on. And that in turn helps me grow my channel. So really, I would love it if you could leave a comment and thank you in advance for all of those who do. Well, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.